Hey everybody on YouTube, this is Super Trooper Camo again, and uh, I'm using my Droid Motorola Droid Razor right now to uh, take this video, so hopefully it turns out okay. It, the, it, last time I tried to take a video with it, it didn't want to upload here on YouTube, so, and my iPod Touch is missing, so I can't do any videos anymore unless I'm using this Droid, so hopefully, hopefully it'll upload the video like it's supposed to, but um, I've got a new toy today, and uh, I'm going to be demoing a UHF 403 to, through 470 megahertz UHF uh, Motorola HT1000. And uh, there's something unique about this HT1000, and it's with every HT1000 though. And it's uh, known here on YouTube as the uh, TPT hack. And there's a guy here on YouTube, I forget his, uh, his YouTube username, but he's really cool. You should check out his videos. Um, you should check out the one about the TPT hack. Just search Motorola HT1000 TPT hack. That's Tango Papa Tango TPT uh, hack. And um, you should be able to find it. It's a really cool video. He does a great job. And uh, you should definitely check it out. But um, anyway, uh, I did the hack on this HT1000 here. And it works awesome. It just works great. Uh, I'm going to demo it on an FRS channel here, FRS channel 4, um, just to show you that will key up this HT1000. Still getting feedback. There we go. Check 1, 2, testing. Alright, now, just as a note, I do have MDC1200 on D key on this HT1000 here. Um, other than that, that's it when it comes to signaling. So just listen to this here. As you can hear the TPT hack it works. The only problem with this and it's it's not a problem if you're on simplex where it's not going through a repeater but when you do the TPT hack, it's not channel selectable. It is automatically on every channel. It doesn't matter whether you're, you set to channel 1 or channel 4 or channel 16. It doesn't matter. It's already on whatever frequency or whatever channel you have. If you've got this radio program for all 16 channels and you only want the hack for one channel, it's not selectable. It's on all channels. And to demo that, I have a Motorola XTN series UHF handy talkie here. Um, I'll get into more detail with this here in just a minute. Let's turn it on. Alright, we're going to go to channel 16 on the HT1000 and the battery is dying on the XTN. And just to demo that this is something that isn't programmable for each channel, it's just something that's automatically on as soon as, as, soon as you do the hack. It is on every channel. As you can hear, it's keying up the uh, XTN radio, and you can hear the TPT hack, a little chirp running. So that's that's the deal with the TPT hack. Uh, another thing is that it it does make an audible tone. The DTMF does come across on the other side. I will demo that. Let's turn this one down. Turn this one up a little bit. All right, now listen to when I first get the microphone on the HT1000, and just listen to this one here and on the receive. Okay, that's the that's the uh, NBC1200 squawk there on D key, but just listen. You hear that every time I key up. That is the DTMF four digits going across. And there's really no way to eliminate the sound unless you're using PL tones. Um, I definitely would not put this on a, you know, an HT1000 that's going to be used on a ham repeater. Just due to the fact that the DTMF tones could cause a problem with the repeater. And the first time you kiss thing up, it makes that little, you know, as soon as it makes that little, little chirp, thing there that DTMF comes across every ham on the frequency is gonna flip out over it and uh, you will be down one HT1000 
so anyway it's a um, it's a good radio and I just wanted to kind of demo this hack on this uh, HT1000 here it's um it's a good radio got from a friend of mine and uh, he did you know uh, it's got the uh, came with the battery and uh, a little UHF whip antenna here um Let's see, other than that, it's really it. I just want to demo the uh, TPT hack. Just uh, thought that was pretty cool. And I'll be uh, demoing another uh, radio, uh, GE Star Signaling. And I haven't seen any videos here on YouTube about GE Star, but I have an HD1000 with GE Star. And uh, I will be doing another video here soon demoing the GE Star Signaling. Um, Another thing here, I got a new microphone. It's a, uh, what's the model number on this radio? Our microphone. It's the, uh, Papa Mike Mike November 405, or excuse me, 4045 Alpha. The PMMN 4045A. And I bought this at HamFest for $10. Uh, it's an ex Dallas Police Department microphone. It works good. Um, doesn't have any problems with it. Um, I kind of like the uh, the Jetty style microphones better. And I do have two of these Jetty mics, and uh, they're good microphones. The model number for this one here is the uh, November mic, November 6193 Bravo, the NMN 6193B, and uh, it's a good microphone. The only difference really between the two is the uh, shape of the, the uh, speaker themselves and the fact that the this microphone here has the accessory port here on the side and the older Jetty mic only has an accessory port uh, let's see it has the accessory port here on the micro on the uh, connector there as you can see Sorry, my camera keeps going in and out of focus. Uh, hopefully this video will upload like it's supposed to. But uh, yeah, that's the, um, the HD1000 with the uh, TPT hack. And um, it's really cool, but like I said, I wouldn't put it on a uh, HD1000 that you're gonna be using for um, for ham radio use, or you know, on a ham radio repeater, or any repeater in general. Um, other than that, stay tuned to my channel. Please like and subscribe and, uh, you know, comment. If you have any questions, just uh, don't be afraid to ask. I'd love to answer them. Um, other than that, that's it. So, uh, y'all take care, and uh, this will be Super Trooper Camo out. Thank you very much.